down to the Pioneers, so the Hornets after a steal couldn't score on the fast break. And Denver has it back. So the first meeting, 73-69, is a decent score. That's above the Hornet average for the year where they have 66 points. Long ball off the glass. I don't know if that was intended. but the Maybe, ball. maybe a tip in, but the point is, points are good. 13-8, one of the oop, maybe the jump was a little off, but nonetheless, they do score. We'll call it an alley-oop tip in. How about that? Yeah, I like that. So five point, but right down on the opposite side of the floor and in. And that's taken away by Tyree Corbett. And Corbett gives it to Bruner. Tommy Bruner, just a junior, 6'1 guard. I mean, he's got the ball on every possession for Denver, it seems like. And now Bruner, nice crossover, has a lane right side and lays it in. That's a great drive. Just different look that the Pioneers will show sometimes off a made free throw to keep Commerce off their heels a little bit and a little bit of a zone action. They'll take that turnover, that's for sure. 18-10 to play. Pioneers look back door. Oh, great job by Lukic with the fake. Getting Demonia off his... Guard anybody like me. Oh. <laughs> UCLA's been guarding the Pioneers. Picking up full here. Denver called a timeout to slow down some of the momentum the Bruins had built. Right, Clark looking to reestablish it. Just mistakes you don't normally see. Like Jalen Clark's arguably the best on-ball defender in the Pac-12, but doesn't foul hardly ever. Especially when he can set those feet. And he's trying to encourage his, his teammates here. Bruno with the basketball. Another jumper. That was good, too. Gets around, uses the pitch.